And welcome back to the Let's Play of Until Dawn, continuing on with part 12, the first replay. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can either do a new story, which unfortunately wipes out everything you've done. So we're not going to try that just yet. We're going to go back to episodes and start the replay with last year. Which should, you know, effectively restart it from scratch. So we'll have to see. Tiny butterflies with devastating hurricanes. And no, you cannot skip the intro video. Which is not very exciting. In fact, it's actually quite annoying, but that's okay. Because the smallest decision can dramatically change the future. And for those of you wondering, yes, I have a face for radio, which is why I'm not using a webcam. That, and I'm sitting in my living room, which is not that exciting to look at. Now, if this becomes something that's more intense, maybe I'll do something more exciting than that. But for right now, you just get to listen to the soft, sultry sound of my voice while your story is playing out in one of many possibilities on the back of this butterfly. Or monarch, or whatever the heck it is. In theory, it's a butterfly, because it's the butterfly effect. Ah, I don't know which way I'm going to go this time. Maybe just be either try to be good to everybody or be kind of an ass. So we'll just kind of play it and see. And hopefully my choices will be different than the previous playthrough. Which I honestly can't remember what I did. So that's kind of okay. So let's just lean toward being an ass to everybody. Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't that way the first time. And we'll just see what happens. I'm sure somebody already made a wiki that has like all of the choices you can make and where they end up, but I haven't looked for it, so I don't know if it's there or not. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. I know, it's an awkward party. This is a little bit cruel. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on her. No, no. I'm just looking out for my girl, and Nobody deserves this. Um, if you're going out, you're her man. Just, just kind of saying that, you know, as a, as a point out there. Just in case you weren't sure how dating works. You know, it's kind of funny. This is the yeah. previous year, and there's still no lights. <laughs> These people are such dicks. She's there. Seriously, why do you have to, like, hide under everything? This is so mean. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Why would he just be standing in a room? I mean, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh, that's right. There's an interlude. Why are these people passed out? I never figured this out. Okay, so we know who he is from the first playthrough, hey, but why is he hanging around the that? house? Dad said it just oh, that's right. He was there the whole time. Yeah, whatever. Josh. Josh. And there are probably going to be spoilers, so don't be surprised, because we've already done this. Yes, I don't need to do the tutorial again, you dick. Oh my god. I'm what so did great. What did sister get herself into now? Ugh. It's, her it's funny because he, she, Hannah is arguably the cutest of the three here, and she's the one that is the naive one. What does that say about our culture? Or at least this game. I'm not sure which. There was another shiny over here. And I know I missed a whole bunch of totems. I have no idea where they were. Tutorial, go away. Nobody cares. I'm just looking at it. Jeez, Josh. You're a drunk. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. That's going to be really uncomfortable to wake up to. I've never fallen asleep on a bar, but I imagine that's bad. He is such an ass. How do you get to be class president with this? I don't understand. Maybe we should start with a little Hanky Panky. You know, making out and really? Goes from there. Really? Class pre how do you be class president and start with a little making out? Oh, hell yeah. And she's easy. I'm sorry. You don't just take your shirt off the first time. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? And you people oh are god. idiots. Why would you say anything? Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey. Why are you just Hannah. suddenly Stupid. apologizing? Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? You set this Hannah. up. What did you expect, Sam? I mean, really. 
Why did she back off like that? I don't understand. Yes, thank you, I know that. What am I choosing? Okay, let's wake Josh this time. Actually, I don't remember what Josh. I did last time. Josh. I should be writing this down. Fuck. Oh, that's right. I think I did that last time and it was There's freaking useless. Yeah, and it's your sister. How could you not tell that yeah. that was your sister? Where's Although she was on? creeped out earlier, so that makes going? sense. It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Han. Even now she's do? a bitch. We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. No. Sure. It wasn't serious. Hannah. Hannah. We were just taking your wildly uh, sure innocent sister and, you know, you know making fun of her. Wow, you people suck. Oh, yes, quick actions, thank you. Let's see if I get these right this time. I'm starting to remember where the keys are. I feel so good. Let's go fast. Oh, right. Right stick. Left stick, right stick. Keep forgetting, it's a dual shock. And no control yet. There's probably another quick event in here somewhere. Why is she out of breath? Shouldn't she be calling for her or something? I don't understand. Let's follow the noise. Even though the footprints make that much more sense. Damn it, Hannah. Why don't you call for her? Instead of just saying something. There she is, right there. She's running away. Do you not see her? Why are you blind? No, I meant to follow the shadow. That's okay, we'll follow the footprints. Because I just saw her running that way. I suppose it wouldn't be like a horror genre without following the usual tropes of stupid. Why are you pointing out your phone? Use the touchpad as shown. Unlock your phone. Hey! Seriously, how do you take out the tutorials? And there's a giant moonbeam there. Why does she need her phone? I mean, it just... it This makes no sense. In the context of reality. Of course, in reality, who would run out in the middle of winter without a jacket on just because she tried to show her booby to a guy? I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh no, an animal. Hold L1 to walk fast. I did forget that one, honestly, so that's probably a good thing that reminded me. I need to try to find all the totems Hello? this time. I only found, Hello? like, none of them last time. I'm pr oh, like that one right there that I almost walked past. That's good. Yes, pick up the totem and look at it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, that's right. You witnessed your own death, and you don't even know it. You know, that's one thing I wish they did do. I wish they, like, reacted to the totems instead of just like, Oh, okay, something happened. That's exciting. I mean, they don't even acknowledge them. It's just like, okay, I picked up a thing. And nothing came of it, even though they saw, like, a vision of some sort. It makes no sense. I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah, exactly. What the hell was that? It's like she's a feral beast just sitting there waiting for something Hannah. to attack her. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. <laughs> Don't mind the barking in the background. <laughs> so dumb. No, that's right, the Wendigo's already out. Why is the Wendigo already out? My dog is an idiot. I'm not sure why my dog is being an idiot. It's probably Abby doing something weird. Dropping the phone. Not realizing you're dropping the phone. That's not important. Oh, uh, that's right. This cliff. Now I remember. So it was a Wendigo that went after him the first time. You two suck. So in the context of the... Oh, okay, so the guy was chasing me. Hold on. So their death was completely meaningless. He was actually trying to save him. See? Don't do not do anything. Alright, be the dick. Drop Hannah. I'm so sorry. And it doesn't matter, because, again, you die anyway.
think the only difference is he's well drop. I told you you can't change what happened last year. The analyst. You can only affect the future. Accept it and move on. I like the car alarm. That's good. So obviously this guy actually existed. You have committed to command at one point, this maybe. This is significant. And I want Cause he's in like an office this time. I'm sure you do. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm yeah, here games sure by screwing with your friends that could be terrifying. Terrifying? You will always find a way to work through it. That's very helpful. Thank you, sir. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Jumpy jacks. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture. As part of this tutorial, make sure you can pick up this card by pressing R2. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get Now remember, we're going to try and be the psycho here. So let's see what we can do. What a smug look on your face. That's so exciting. All right. Let's pick it up and take a look. Yes, thank you. There we go. Ah, yes, the card. That's exciting. So... How did How that, did picture, that picture, make picture make you feel? Make you feel. Remember, be honest. Like I'm on a space station. No, I feel uneasy. Oh well. Honesty is good. That's right. I wanted him to be the psychopath. In which case, he should be happy by seeing that. Because it's very significant of deaths. What? Oh, I don't even remember. Let's say the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Totally Let's not even paying attention. The scarecrow. You feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time, say a week, for example. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage is filled with bees? Haunted? Oh, it was haunted. I wouldn't care because I'm psychotic. So the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the super not. Dude, have you seen scarecrows? They're creepy. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Yeah, that's true. I'm not. Our time's up. You're a horrible Let's analyst. Investigate that in our next session, shall we? Yeah, sure. Why not? There's nothing else going on here. You're a figment of my imagination. We can investigate this whenever you want. Oh, it is in the same place, because it's the same window. Duh. Okay, so this guy probably... Well, I mean, he might have existed, but he obviously doesn't exist at, in Josh's mind. At the, well, no, wait. He does exist in Josh's mind. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a figment of his imagination. And we have the intro, which is unskippable. So let's just power through this real quick. Oh, that was exciting and refreshing. Now it's the one-year anniversary. That's right. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. <sighs> Alright, maybe we'll just skip through all this Washington again, because family. we've seen it already. Alright, so I'm still trying to figure out. Did he All post right. this on YouTube or something? Well, I mean, why did she just suddenly start watching it in the middle of a trip in the mountains? Awesome I mean, it's not like she's going to have any cell service if she was having that much of a problem um, listening off, to a radio. I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals this guy's back face, to it still just says Blackwood rapist. Winter getaway. <laughs> so, and he's crazy. Um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know yes, my sister's died. We know. About me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know, um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean 
so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here. Not together. really, because they kind of Thinking both of died hating all of you I for really being dicks to Hannah, because that's kind of what you each, were. Each Although you weren't really and, involved uh, in it, because you were asleep, and then I guess then Matt was also there we'll and asleep, but I'm not sure if that was for, him that was there, or if it was Chris, or what. For the sake of my no, Matt was awake. Who was the other guy that was passed out? Know. Who knows? Okay. Anyway, so, you had nothing to do with it, but you're a seriously, seriously broken party person. Like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Well, you're definitely not going to forget it. And that's your fault, and you know that. And more skipping. Okay, and now we're arriving at Blackwood Pines. Again, the Death Cottage. Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. So I guess if you replay from the episodes, it just starts you out wherever you were. Aspect ratio change. woof -ah. Now why is this guy carrying around a machete? That's what I don't understand. He was carrying around a flamethrower before. Makes no sense other than to scare you. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Yes, we know all about you. Moving on. Hello? Why is nobody there to Someone greet there? you? See, that's what I don't understand. This is bad hosting. Well, I mean, no. I mean, if I think about it, then Josh... It, technically, she's already been there before, so she should know the way. But, I mean, this is just creepy town. So why aren't why isn't somebody there to, you know, see her? Yes, thank you. Go away. Make sure there are no totems out here this early. I haven't seen any glints other than the one on the gate right there. Yes, thank you. Gosh, shut up. Okay, the gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we already read what was on here. Make sure you tell the bus driver to stop. Why does she take the sign down? Like, she's the only one that's there. That makes no sense. Oh, that's right. I was going to take the quick route. No! Tries again. There we go. Eh, let's be dangerous. Hey, let's see how many of these quick time events we can actually get. Yes, breathing. And so this would be like two things watching her because there's no way that something could get around like that. Eh, I didn't really get through much, but let's keep going for right now. We'll get to the cable car station, at least. Oh, the squirrel. No, I was not going to be a dick to the squirrel, but I'm going to be a dick to the squirrel. Scare the squirrel! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can scare the squirrel again. I hate being mean to the animals because I know what it's going to lead to, but let's do it anyway. No! I'm going to keep scaring the dang squirrel. Wow. Okay, I guess I can't get past this part if I don't scare the squirrel. I mean, if I do... Wait. I need to not scare the squirrel. That's what I'm going for. Fine. I will let you tutorialize me. That squirrel is going to die because it's so domesticated. First of all, there's no people up there, so why would it be trustworthy of people at all? It makes no sense. Yes, I'm going to press this just so you'll go away. Although I forget. Uh, don't care. Alright, so I need a bunch of those. I don't want to look up. There's never any clues up. I'm going to look down toward the ground because they're all sitting on the ground. D D D D D. Let's see. There's this board here. I can look at you. <laughs> Butterfly prophecies. Yes, we know something about all of those. That's exciting. I think it's funny that it has like the color codes. Oh yeah, I get to pick one up. Yes. Come on. Let me press the button. I've read you. I don't care. 
Thank you. Can I pick it up? There we go. Yes, I'm trying. Yeah, the bird flying away. We already know what this is all about. Unfortunately, because we have chosen to be dicks, we're going to kill the things. Yes, thank you, I know. I'm aware of this. This is a very pretty matte painting, however. I mean, look at all those hills. The pretty, pretty hills. The past is beyond our control. Yeah, and it's very, you know, specific graffiti, so you should think about that instead of just being like, Durr. It's just Chris? graffiti. You here? Of course the door would be locked. Load? Locked. Alright. We know what this butterfly effect is, so we're going to take a pause here. Call this the end of episode 12, I think it is. The replay. And uh, we're just going to see, we'll, we'll see how we are being complete ass to everybody in this game and see if anybody survives at the end. So once again, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and see our first playthrough in episodes 1 through 11. And make sure you keep paying attention to watch and see what being a dick does until dawn. Once again, thank you for watching. See you next time.